Prince Harry's forthcoming trip to New York for the UN General Assembly's High Level Week and Climate Week has sparked quite a buzz, but not for the anticipated reasons. This time, it's Meghan Markle who's making headlines due to her exclusion from the 25th Diana Award Ceremony, an event meant to celebrate Princess Diana's legacy. While Harry mingles with organizations like African Parks, the Halo Trust, the Diana Award, and Travelist, Meghan will notably be missing alongside their two children. Sources indicate that Meghan, who was absent from this prestigious event despite her husband's participation, is not taking this slight lightly. She is reportedly furious and blaming Harry. Meghan believes that Harry's involvement should have guaranteed her an invitation, asserting that any occasion linked to Princess Diana feels incomplete without her presence. The Diana Awards, which are celebrating their 25th anniversary this year, enthusiastically announced Harry's participation on their official Instagram account. Dr. Tess Ojo CBE, CEO of the Diana Award, described the event as a platform led by young people tackling urgent issues of their time. Meanwhile, Meghan's exclusion has transformed this noble celebration into a royal drama, igniting waves of speculation and controversy. One can't help but question the absurdity of the situation. Why New York? Why September? And why is Harry seemingly more interested in revisiting his mother's legacy rather than engaging in meaningful philanthropy? Meghan's absence prompts speculation about whether Harry's participation in the Diana Awards is an elaborate scheme to provoke or force a meeting with Prince William. The media frenzy surrounding a potential reunion between the brothers would certainly be captivating. Some critics argue that Harry's persistent fixation on Diana is doing more harm than good. Each time he invokes her name, it seems to tarnish her legacy further. The more he tries to leverage Diana's memory, the more it looks like he's merely using her to attract attention. His antics are beginning to mirror a poorly scripted sitcom, where he plays the tragicomic character while the adults await the farce to conclude. Additionally, there's the possibility that Harry and Meghan aim to overshadow William's Earthshot Summit, also scheduled in New York. It's striking that both Harry and the Diana Awards have chosen to align their significant events with Earthshot. It almost appears as if they are orchestrating a grand spectacle to divert attention from William's accomplishments. Expect plenty of photo opportunities with cheerful young participants as Harry endeavors to present himself as the rightful heir to Diana's legacy. After all, the only way to honor her memory seems to be by turning it into a public relations stunt. One can only wonder how the Diana Award organizers are accommodating Harry's antics, especially considering Prince William may have a say in the proceedings. The entire situation feels like a desperate attempt to keep Harry in the public eye while simultaneously overshadowing his brother's vital work. Overall, this affair may be viewed as a calculated effort to exploit Diana's memory for personal gain. In the grand scheme of things, Meghan's frustration over her lack of invitation is almost poetic, as both she and Harry pursue their quest for relevance and strive to mend their damaged public image, seemingly prioritizing drama over genuine impact.